I'm writing all these people and telling them 80% of our USPS income was being manipulated. Yeah, these are, um, actually I just took these out of the house here and they need to be filed, but they're just papers and documentation, sales that were fabricated. At work, I have, God, so much more than this. And then different files here. I mean, at work, I have huge file cabinets. There's no way I would want to keep it all at work because you never know if something would happen. And then some people, you know, they get walked out for very unusual, strange reasons. And so you want to definitely have it. It's, I mean, I, I don't think it's being paranoid. It's just being realistic that you're going against a really huge organization and you're trying to make them understand how they've really wronged so many people. Victoria, I'm putting you out on administrative leave pending an investigation into wrongdoing. And she had two policemen with her. So I looked at her and she just walked away. And I asked them, how long, uh, what do I do? He says, get your personal belongings. How long will it take you to ask me? I said, probably 20 minutes. I've got everything in the office. And they shouted at me, now, lady, now. I, I, I should have I realized that I was being set up. It took me a long time because I couldn't believe it. I grew up in the Postal Service. Uh, there are rules and regulations. I couldn't believe that my, my colleagues would be so afraid. You shouldn't be afraid. I, I used to tell them because the systems protect you. And what I learned is they, they don't. You can't walk around a corner worrying about, the, you know, they're coming after you for some reason somehow, looking for excuses to, to find you doing something wrong and then punishing you for it and bringing you up on progressive disciplinary action with a view towards removing you from the Postal Service. This is, how can anybody focus on their job? It's almost like assassination, really. The manager I was telling you about would always want three weeks of appointments for a day scheduled out, yet the people that were the favored didn't have to have that. They were sort of, you know, missing on their calendars. And uh, I believe that that contributed to um, my current health state, that I could have been in a lot better shape had I addressed my health issue that I was not allowed to. Because if you go, if you go out on, um, on, on medical or you you take day sick, you have to make up those visits. So now the four visits you didn't make that day, you got to make them up that week. I have um, never used any sick leave and I've never taken any time off, as you can see from our conversation. So I have enough leave to cover me. The pressure Sue was under proved deadly. By the time she sought treatment, her cancer had taken over. Looking back, would you have done anything differently? Yeah, I would have started complaining earlier and been more forceful about it. 